today we are going to discuss levels of strategy so as you can see there are three levels of strategy corporate level business level functional level that we are going to discuss so let's get started so at corporate level uh, you deal with the uh, decision which are uh, which are to be taken by the by the company so the company will decide what uh, decision it has to be taken to generate revenue to maximize profit to give maximum return on the investment uh, regarding competition etc at uh, business level that is strategic uh, sorry business unit strategy level strategic business unit level SBU level so second uh, level a company has lot of subsidiaries take example of uh, Hindustan Unilever so Hindustan Unilever has lot of uh, subsidiaries like soap manufacturing units then toothpaste manufacturing units then uh, or uh, this uh, personal care manufacturing unit uh, then beauty cream manufacturing units then food manufacturing units so these are the different different subsidiaries or strategic business unit uh, to get help from each and every strategic business unit uh, to get a good synergy good coordination and allocating resources to these uh, strategic business unit uh, separate kind of strategy has to be decided so it comes under business level strategies so at corporate level uh, Hindustan Unilever decide how to compete with the Procter & Gamble how to compete with the Patanjali how to compete uh, with the uh, Nestle and other big companies uh, at strategic business unit level uh, Hindustan Unilever will decide how to allocate resources to different strategic business unit like um, soap manufacturing unit food manufacturing unit uh, oral care manufacturing unit uh, personal care manufacturing unit and so on at functional level uh, below that uh, there are a lot of function in each and every subsidiaries like you have marketing function marketing and sales function uh, advertisement function new product development research and development function then production function procurement function finance function uh, HR function then information technology functions so they have to decide strategies for the these different different management managerial functions so this is third level strategy so we have seen at corporate level strategy Hindustan Unilever will decide how to uh, how to get competitive advantage over their competitors like Procter & Gamble, Colgate, uh, then uh, Nestle, um, Patanjali and so on. At business unit level, uh, Hindustan Unilever will decide uh, the different different strategic business unit which are there all over India or all over the world, uh, how they can form synergy, how we can allocate resources to profit making units and how uh, we can make these unit efficient at functional level uh, there are a lot of functions going on in each strategic business unit like marketing function research and development function procurement function HR function IT function how these function can be remain efficient so there has to be a lot of decision has to be taken at uh, functional level also so if the functional level has synergy it will uh, boost strategic business unit level and if strategic business unit level has good synergy if it is effective and efficient then it will help to form corporate strategy decision making now you can see at the corporate level CEO will take the CEO board of directors and uh, MD CEO chairman uh, and top management 
people like board of directors board of governance will take the decision at head office or the registrar office in a strategic business unit level uh, there might be uh, unit a unit b unit c and so on so that management of this strategic business unit level there are middle management staff that ma middle management staff will take sbu level decisions or they will form sbu level strategy uh, in the third level at which is uh, at the basic level uh, we have a lot of function like uh, marketing function hr function finance function procurement function uh, supply chain management function so these functional decisions can be taken care of by executives or just assistant manager manager level a uh, staff or the employees so these are called the functional level uh, decisions or strategy so functional level strategy will boost business level strategy business level strategy will boost corporate level strategy so again same thing is depicted in some different uh, way so need of multi strategies so we'll start uh, discussion about the this levels of strategy uh, there was a there is a need for multi level strategy because uh, just one strategy will not help organization because today organization has to take lot of decisions there are a lot of complex problems uh, organizations are expanding so think about the amazon amazon is selling so many crores of lakhs of crores of products millions of products so uh, they uh, amazon cannot run on a single strategy there are many strategies multi strategy has to be uh, framed so phenol uh, take example of phenolex group Phenolex Group is a business conglomerate with interest in diverse areas such as telecommunication, petrochemicals, irrigation, and education. So one strategy cannot able to satisfy uh, all these different different areas. Like telecommunication, telecommunication, petrochemical is totally different areas. Petrochemicals, irrigation, totally different areas. So one strategy cannot able to satisfy uh, or solve the problems of the organization. So we need to go for multi strategy that from there uh, there we have three groups three levels of strategy three categories of strategy like uh, corporate level strategy business unit level strategy and functional level strategy even if you take the tata group uh, they have automobiles they have information technology they have steel they have lot of lot of things chemical uh, units so a uh, retail unit so uh, uh, one single strategy cannot able to solve the problems of tata tata group that's why we have corporate level strategy sbu level strategy and functional level strategy a second a third example is hindustan unilever organizes uh, hindustan unilever hindustan unilever organizes itself into two businesses of home and personal care uh, home and personal care and food uh, category so you also know that hindustan unilever has more than 40 50 different different uh, brands or the products so one strategy cannot able to satisfy the problem uh, problem faced by the hindustan unilever organization now tvs group fourth example tvs group has 51 companies ranging from axels india to jf electronics that operate in technology areas as diverse as air brake system aluminium casting automotive components computer peripheral software design and two wheelers so tvs group uh, problems cannot be solved by just corporate level strategy it, there has to be a strategic business unit level strategy there has to be functional level strategy there has to be operational level strategy for many companies a single strategy is not only adequate but also inappropriate the need is for multi strategies at different level then arises an sbu as defined by the sharplin is any part of the business organization which is treated separately for strategic management purpose so in uh, uh, just we have seen uh, in hindustan unilever they have oral care personal care and food uh, strategic business unit 
इवन इफ यू टेक द पतंजलि different dif uh, patanjali sells different different products like they have honey they have soap they have ayurvedic products so for each product they have different different uh, plants manufacturing units so they have different strategic business units generally sbus are involved in a single line of business so one sbu is allocated for one business strategic business area so uh, there is another terminology strategic business area suppose uh, when we talk of wipro their strategic business area first of all is information technology then uh, wipro is also into uh, uh, fmcg products so wipro again is into computer hardware then wipro is again into electronics tube lights and those um, products category so their strategic business areas are also multiple but there are some organization like infosys they are purely into one uh, ca category or one industry that is information technology so strategic business area it is defined as a distinctive segment of the environment in which the firm does or may want to do business so uh, suppose hero moto corp they want to do business in two wheelers automobile industry so their strategic business area is two wheelers or automobile sector a number of sbus relevant for a different sbas form a cluster of units under a corporate umbrella so togetherly different different uh, sbus come together to form umbrella a number of sbus relevant for different sbas form a cluster of units under a corporate umbrella uh, so suppose tata motors has many different uh, uh, strategic business unit for their uh, passenger cars so these uh, strategic business units uh, will come together to form one umbrella which is tata motors each sbu has its own functional departments or a few major functional departments while common functions are grouped under the corporate level so each sbu has different functional departments also and group can a company can have a common functional uh, department for all sbu corporate level strategy is an over as so now we we will discuss corporate level strategy what is corporate level strategy what is strategic business unit level strategy sbu level strategy and what is functional level strategy now corporate level strategy is an over over arching plan of action covering the various functions performed by different sbus the plan deals with the objectives of the company allocation of the resources and coordination of the sbus for optimal performance so at uh, corporate level hindustan unilever will have objective to uh, to defeat uh, procter and gamble patanjali nestle and other companies uh, and uh, then uh, at corporate level hindustan unilever ha has to uh, take the decision about allocation of resources to all their sbus then Hindustan Unilever has to take decision regarding coordination of all different uh, factories, manufacturing units, SBUs. Then, at corporate level, MD CEOs have to decide about how they can get the optimal performance. Now, at strategic business unit level, at middle level management, uh, the strategy is comprehensive plan providing objectives for SBU. For suppose Hindustan Unilever, for their uh, fair and lovely unit they have to give objective for their um, lux dove soap hamam soap they have to give different different objectives for uh, their uh, ponds talcum powder they have to give different objectives so each separate business manufacturing unit or sbu strategic business units they have to provide objective they have to provide resources they have to plan about how to carry out the functions 
they have to decide how there should be coordination between all SBUs and uh, how they can contribute best towards to achieving corporate objectives then next is functional strategy a fun in uh, deals it deals with the relatively restricted plan providing objectives for a specific function allocating resources among different operations within that functional areas and coordinating between coordinating between the uh, uh, them for optimal contribution to the achievement of the sbu and corporate level objective so here they are allocating budget for sales they are allocating budget for marketing and advertisement they are allocating budget for the finance department they are allocating budget for the hr department so resources they have to allocate again there should be coordination and uh, some kind of uh, policies has to be a frame so these all uh, uh, decisions are taken at the for a functional level strategy so thank you very much for uh, watching this video and here we are uh, completing levels of strategy we'll discuss uh, next part in next video thank you so much till then